Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Lone Wolf the Shows. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our legendary Iron Man playthrough where Operation Sweaty Dawn is upon us, where the Grey Knights, or these parts thereof, Hogbite, uh, Mike the Public Bravo, and St. Elliot, plus the maybe recruit in the future Scythe Jansen, are going to uh, deploy together with a few others that they have just used uh, in order to fill up their ranks. So it's going to be an interesting mission. We're fighting against the Lost, we're fighting with Project Miranda, which makes it very, very difficult uh, to uh, have uh, to hit enemies with our aim penalties. As such, we do have a couple of ways of getting around that. The Reaper and the Templar have uh, melee attacks. The Technician is using um, mainly non-to-hit options, and we're having the Psy Operative clearly with, yeah, uh, size stuff so that should be good we need to find the leak against 15 enemies and got a big fat 30 intel that we could get out of it so let's jump right into gray knights deployed that can only mean one thing and one thing only it's going to go down so first time that we're playing with the reaper shadows And having cereal with the Reaper is <clears throat> a cereal advantage. Pun very much intended. The cry moves up, ha works with the others, Endors moves up. Hawkbite very much front lines here. Michael like Public Bravo and Sane. They gave us high ground. And we sure will use it. There's the, an end to that high ground though, but I'm generally okay with it. I think we can afford a, another turn of us just casually moving there without triggering but <clears throat> the enemies have had different intentions great fabulous one move and everything goes downhill <laughs> Okay. Let's get that hunter drone. No, come on. The other two can hit. Very good. One more hit. There we go. Got some combat protocol, which we can use in order to kill someone. Uh, like the drone, <coughs> we could also just override them. Good chance of getting control. Improved shadow here. Our biggest challenge will be to actually hit enemy targets. Fortifying, now is the right tur uh, time for that. Okay, what I would want to do is, I hope I can move a little bit fu uh, further. Moves to here. 
at this point that really doesn't matter. Lightning hands. Unfortunate. We do not have we do not have blade storm. Could move into cover, like here for instance. Summon another pillar. We'll eventually get it. For now, let's try to control the surveillance drone. Good, that'll be our mimic beacon. Move to here. Ah, drone is in the way. Move to here. Put a pillar here. That will give us a more central position. can't move behind it well fantastic in which case we're just going there I wanted to use uh, mind merge but it's not happening I go where you tell me. Reaper does what Reapers do percent chance to reveal we don't want that guaranteed to remain in the shadows okay nope not happening could have put the pillar here then the Sun Lancer would not have posed an issue. Decluttering our position a bit. And just dishing out some damage. Just in case Scythe <clears throat> is being revealed. And we're overwatching. Okay, cool. Of course he's hitting, which is a bit disappointing. Pfft. Yeah. It should be affected by Miranda Protocol just as much as we are. Good, double move. Uh, we are immune to stunner.
which is good. Hmm. Can I find a position where I'm flanking multiples? Yes, but that would be, relatively speaking, exposed. Because I'm thinking about using serial. I just need to set it up correctly. Bashing the drone away as a free action. Moved it, but that was about it. Good, stun strike. Into... Call this into void conduit fabulous now that that is out of the way we still need to deal with a drone here Might use comet protocol for that. Not a great use of action economy, could have used two actions, but this is at least a sure kill for the drone. The drone is currently quote unquote flanking us, it's in an unfortunate position for us. Sun Lancer lost cover. At least I thought he would, uh, just saw he did not. Uh, that's, un that's again unfortunate. We're moving over here. destroyed he's taken out okay cool which brings us to the guardian We got Silent Killer, eh? Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's not get revealed, shall we? Good, this guy's bleeding and uh, should almost die. Take bleeding damage, not yet. As long as we're in cover, the Miranda protocol should work very well for us. 
This is cover, by the way, and uh, the smoke also also does a lot to help us. All right, reinforcements incoming, which is fine. Let's interrupt the overwatch. Moves to here. Serial. That's one. That's two. Good, need to get the sergeant, but we will. It's just a matter of time. I need focus, that's the biggest problem here. So we can't reach anyone. Might as well get the kill here on Hogfight. Oh, Hogfight now can have three. Focus, that's cool. The, oh, he has high cover. No, no. Might move from here and hit him. But well, we need to move towards the target, anyways. This here is only. Low cover, but the hit chances are atrocious. What is lethargic? Oh, that is Project Miranda. Cover, Project Miranda. That guy does have... <laughs> tactical sense. All right, see, that's some long war bullshit for you right here. Minus 30, 50, 60, 75, minus 75. So we would have over a hundred hit and the game still manages to F us over. Lethargic, mm-hmm, sure. Sure, bro. Very lethargic. All right, can't even get him out of his little comfort zone there. We're moving a little bit closer. Let's see if we can drive him insane. Well, he's disoriented. I, I suppose for an action is a decent outcome. And since we have almost no chance of hitting this guy, might as well just suppress him so that he really does hate his life. Good aid protocol on Scythe. And we don't want to overstay our welcome. Comet protocol for the turret would be good. Yep. And 
and scythe actually begins to move into full cover. Very good, these are much better targets than than we are. So a lost swarm came in clutch just at the right moment. That was a waste of turn, dear uh, Viper. That, on the other hand, was not. These guys are good snipers and they deal a lot of damage, so we need to take them down. Yeah, that was a 0% chance to hit. I cannot imagine how that would be anything but 0%. Okay, well, let's do what we're always doing, which is kill, kill stuff and kill it good. Might as well mind control him. But we panic him, which is fine for the beginning as well. We're going to see way more uh, reinforcements coming in. So we're going to here and time to get the mech down, mech down, smack down as they say. Good, that's very good. Wakanda is unfortunately ending your turn. It's such a great spell other than that. We do not have Bladestorm yet. And I would want to get a bit closer. Can we reach one of the Vipers is the key question for me. No, just barely not. Well, 
Let's kill the sergeant. That here could open the wall. Did it? No, it did not. Trying to move forward, which unfortunately includes pushing into these guys. <clears throat> but we now do have three focus. Ogbite will push in and try to hack as more and more reinforcements will now show up. Nasty flanking maneuver. Don't like it. Okay, that didn't work. Let's shield bash. Okay, that missed. Not good. Amplifying the Naja. We'll be there in a second for now. Still need to get uh, the others down. Moving in. They have a patrol moving here. Oh wow, it's getting worse and worse. Let's get the side winder. Good crit, almost killed it. know that this is going to happen but I need to go in and uh, get the objective the drone might be a good option for us Okay, listen, this here will prevent the Viper from just moving up to us and uh, binding us. I don't appreciate that. And instead we're going to be a bit cheeky. And we need to deal with what has happened behind us. Else, uh, there's going to be a bit of a problem. Lock. 
Pretty good. Let's take out the Heavy Lancer. That would be fabulous if we could do that, please. Right, front lines for us. We're going to go to here, which is full cover. Integrated communication, that is SWAT site, isn't it? That's not bad either. Might as well do that next turn. But for now, I would like to get a mimic, no, new Mimic Beacon here. Fabulous. Overall, very solid turn. Under my if that survives, we're going to stun the Viper and are just going to hack next turn. Hogbite is trying to hack and we're then trying to get the hell out of here. Okay, they are being kept busy. Now we have the open. Hmm. They're trying to flank us. It slows us down, but armor has its uses. Right, almost nothing left over. Last round, we need to get out of here. And what I would want to do is clearly take out the Naja. But she's effectively done. Rush up, hit the turret. Need to stand here so that I can hack next turn and get out of here. Gaining SWAT side. Under my control. Free reload, and we're going to kill that Lancer. Come on, you have a really good chance to hit him. It's not that difficult. Okay, thank you. you can't handle me. Let's 
Is that a grappler? No, it's a dasher. Okay, cool. Position confirmed. Getting 45 because it's the last turn. I wonder if we should try to flashbang just to get more lost. I'll think about it. Let's get that dasher down. the exit will be here. And given that the Reaper is at the very front line of everything, might as well just give them a bit of defense. Does this work in order to just push them away? Maybe. Let's try it. Alright, move, move, move. Go away. <laughs> yep, it worked. Wouldn't have guessed that I ever use flush in order to give us a bit more leeway. Hit and slither. <laughs> Not hit and run, hit and slither. I like it. More serpents are the false gods. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Oh yeah, it certainly is. Got that. Got that. Got that. Got that. Hmm. Can't get out. I will need to think about how we're dealing with that. <clears throat> Let's first of all hack the workstation. to here hit this guy <coughs> or at least try to Sorry. 
Uh, as always, interruptions come in at the worst time. So, <coughs> we will need to stay here for one more round. But next round we'll be able to <coughs> finally move away. In the meantime... How do we deal with this guy and how we do we deal with enemies in general? We've lost our Mimic Beacon. It kindly acted as a bridge for us to move further. Moves to here. I think we want to spawn a couple more losts and let the enemies suffer. Close your eyes. Fabulous. Did three grapplers uh, join right next to the t uh, turret? That is awesome. Moves to here. Hit the brute. <clears throat> Kill the brute. Mm. Got a stun lance up there, one that I'm not very happy with. Let's just try to get the lost brute. Okay. And we'll go for full cover. Losing out on a tiny bit of damage, but... Didn't feel like it would be a good idea to push our luck any further. Somehow the loss just broke through the ceiling. All right. <sighs> well, even more enemies come in. And that's definitely the point where you need to, uh, where you have ho hopefully have gotten the memo that you gotta get the hell out of here. Luckily the disorientation plus Miranda protocol stacks nicely. Unfortunate uh, the grappler immediately went down. And this is also very unfortunate. Revival. That's why you play a healer and not a quote-unquote damage dealer. And we're getting out of here.
we're going to get a big fat explosion going before we're leaving see you later nice well <clears throat> and that was considered a very difficult mission we got some AP on top of it What a show! What a show! So unfortunately, we got ourselves injured with the Reaper. Thirty days. Wow. Endos got a promotion, Hawkbite gets a promotion. Nice. So, Bladestorm, oh, that's a given, not even a question. Impact compensation would be very, very nice. That, however, would also be good for only 10 points. It's a bargain. Uh, because I think it's a min minus 15, yeah, minus 15, and, and they move slower. So yeah, arc wave is good as well. I like ghost a lot. But Apotheosis uh, seems great as well. It's kind of a buff uh, to him. And of course, Iconic Storm is great as well. So what are the skills that I think we still need? This is not bad, just to raise focus a bit quicker. Which surprisingly has been an issue. This here is good, 12 defense and aim isn't bad either. Uh, aim penalty for the enemy is good as well. So that is a good skill. Critting is not so much his. Arc wave most certainly is good just for AOE damage and a couple of these skills but yeah we're going with zone control first such a good defensive skill the cry on uh, the larger flamer and what did we even get another engineer oh yeah another engineer Nice. We are back in business, boys. We got the NGs. Ready, steady, go. Put that in so that we can actually play with our Reaper at some point. Ugh, 20 days. That's rough, man. Good, and we're almost done with advanced magnetic weapons. Not think I could have predicted this outcome. Cool. So, lots of good stuff here. Bigger gun for the sparks, bigger rifle, bigger mag gun, bigger gun uh, for the non-existing reaper. Shard gun, uh, that is a big shotgun. Mutant autopsy, I think, would be grenade upgrades. Members of the crew quietly glancing at the scar on my neck. If I wasn't forced to remove the chip myself, the incisions might have been cleaner. Elarium would be good. Five Elarium cores. Okay, we want to get that next, so I need to save up a couple of Alarium cores. We have been um, selling them, but I think we're only one or two short. This here could be red screen rounds, blue screen rounds, might be. Oh, and an upgrade of our gremlins, which I suppose is not a bad idea. Let's use the inspiration. Just get a little bit of a boost out of it. Tigan seems to have a habit of 
scratching that scar on the back of his head. He just talked about it, and she notices it. Uh, notices it is as well. Do we want to go in and get 23 or do we want more? I think we're just waiting. Just at the moment there is nothing else that we can do. Putting it on screen now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. Okay, I think we're okay. This here is not too bad yet. Well, the moment that he reaches that, we should uh, be at part two of finding him, and we will, we will, right? So that's good. Time is not on your side. It won't be long before I find you, Commander. Commander, the Resistance has a hidden cache of resources stashed outside of Advent's... Okay, that would be good, having those 180, but let's do the relay first. We completed our research in remarkable time. Brennan Mark II, that's good. And red screen rounds, uh, which allows us to easier hack enemies. So we still want uh, to go further with Elarium, right? But that needs to wait. Purifier is great for a whole number of reasons. We definitely want that. Um, I think dragon rounds, if I'm not mistaken, and incendiary grenades. So let's do that. And fire is just bonkersly strong in long war. It's incredibly strong. Okay. Let's first of all get money and sell a bunch of items three hours find enemy flight path can't do that two days can't do that either and we now need to do the other mission which is fine i guess got proper income so that's good we're getting the money so that's fine as well and in terms of SWAT management we should actually be okay granites are good with the exception of uh, jansen who has taken quite a bit of a beating Covert Ops mission at some point is done. These three here, if we get a good mission that they can infiltrate, then let's just do that. Uh, wait, 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 whilst we're at it. Um, bond training takes three more days. Once that is done, we can actually do the bond training. So yeah, we wanted to do the bond training. I have forgotten about the fact that others use the bond training, so we're we're going to wait just a tiny bit. Um, elsewise, we could also do a mission. Uh, there's always room for one more mission. And what else do we have with our SWATs? Everybody's on a mission, so not much. Yeah, I need new soldiers. Get a couple more and get the Salamander SWAT up and running. But that'll all happen in the next or the episodes afterwards thanks for watching guys have a good one if you enjoyed the playthrough leave a comment and a like down below um, that is how you could uh, appreciate the run a little bit and uh, see you in the next episode bye bye